Everything I did was permitted. There was no law, there was no regulation, there was nothing that did not give me the full authority to decide how I was going to communicate. Let's take a deep breath here. Everything I did was permitted by law and regulation. Well, um, not exactly. Uh, the State Department's Inspector General, in a highly critical report issued this past week, said Clinton never asked for permission to set up a private email server in her home. And had she asked, the report says, she would have been told no because of security concerns. The report also noted Clinton and her senior aides declined to cooperate with the Inspector General's review. Now, those aides have been interviewed as part of a separate FBI investigation into whether sensitive information was mishandled or compromised. Secretary Clinton says her interview hasn't been scheduled yet. No, it's not, but I have offered uh, since last August, and I am looking forward to seeing this matter wrapped up. Uh, if you look at this report, it essentially says, and please correct me if you think I'm wrong, uh, that all of her explanations about, well, it was okay, and everybody knew, and it was approved, and this and that, um, no. It essentially said the opposite of what she said <laughs> last year, which is that this was not what she was supposed to be doing and that there were not rules on the books that permitted this to happen. And this is the problem for her with this whole matter. It's kind of a death by a thousand cuts. It just it continues to grow and grow because every explanation that she gives gets essentially negated by, in this case, an independent investigation from the State Department. And this is about the 50th explanation that she's given on how she handled this, uh, at least. And how she handled this particular investigation was interesting, too. She decided not to participate at uh, all with the Inspector General and try to discredit the Inspector General instead. But it's curious because the report is, you know, gives fuel to the fire that she has not been clear and she, not been... Uh, forthcoming about what really was going that, on. That, that is textbook, though, if you've uh, lived as long as I have and covered the, Clinton, <laughs> covered the Clintons through these things. Her, her attorney is David Kendall, whose thing is if you're going to be interviewed, be interviewed once. Mm. Don't be interviewed by the State Department Inspector General and then be interviewed by the FBI. Be interviewed once. I say once. something different. But the one uh -huh. other interesting revealing part about this report is uh, a section where you learned that she had discussions with her staff about personal emails and how many places to do this. And her instinctive concern was, Put it on two separate things because I don't want any of my personal stuff. Right. She, she said it was done for convenience, and it's pretty clear from this report anyway, the inspector general saying she did it to protect things. Well, and this is, this is, this is another example of Hillary Clinton being her own worst enemy right. and you know, going out and saying what she did, but also this, this paranoia that has been part of being a Clinton well, it might since be the 90s. It, it, might it be could be, no, well, but, but it's the, 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 the <laughs> hearkening back to the vast right. wing conspiracy. Right. And so we showed at the beginning of the program from the NBC Wall Street Journal poll when people are asked, I'm going to say, Trump is president, what are your thoughts? That's the same question. Hillary Clinton is president. What do you think about that? And we can show you right now up on the screen what people thought about that. Just yeah. look at how big that is. Just look at how big that is. Uh, now, time for a woman president. That's favorable. But liar, not trustworthy, is giant there. And so it's an issue for her in the campaign. And guess who?